Let me talk about, let's say, a thesis between air signs and water signs. Uh, I watch shows over and over again to really get to know characters now I've noticed. And especially with my astrology and first. So if you've watched Skins, the UK version, the only version that matters, I don't even see I haven't even seen the American version. Um, we have Generation Two and you have these two twin girls, Emily and Katie. And one's like this really like princess, like girly girl who's had boyfriends since she was little, and the other one's like a bit more quieter, introverted and hasn't and she's actually a lesbian anyway she's like when they first joined college or uh sixth form or whatever it, it was sixth form at the school um there's this other girl called naomi and she, <clears throat> she screams air sign to me and emily really likes her but she's so cold with her if you watch the episodes and stuff and the way she is she just doesn't want to be around her she's fighting that urge and to me like i don't know she could be a libra rising because of the way she looks and acts a little bit but she's either she's gonna be an Aquarius because she's just fighting it, fighting and fighting it. But I can also feel some Capricorn there. But where I'm talking about how water signs are maybe attracted to the air sign energy because it's completely different to them. It's not gonna work long term, but if there's other aspects working, obviously it might. But if you just see them together, like Emily screams to me, um cancer pisces more not so much scorpio with her dreamy nature and just really nice girl but then the twin like this where my brother argues with me about astrology like if you get twins that are so different like my dad's got twin brothers and they're so different but there's this um thing in astrology where they say you get the I think it's the twin that's born first, it's more out there, more confident, and then you get the other one who's like showing the lesser qualities of that. But I just wanted to show an example of that. So she she's like not stalking her, but she keeps going up to her and she makes her feel rejected. Um, and then she's like had enough of it, but she still really likes her. And then the girl's, like, giving her mixed messages, and it's just really sad, and I don't like it. And she sleeps with her twice, leaves her twice in the morning, and the second time she runs after her, and she goes, you can't keep doing this to me. And then the mum and the sister of the twin is really homophobic and tries to ruin it with them and them. And it's really sad. Like, Skins is good because each episode will be about each character and their story and jj's got me so bad because i'm going through the process of like things with autism at the moment and it was just really sad like um back then probably because i didn't really have that much help around then i at all really little bits here and there um but it was just on so many tablets and he just had enough and i could see, you can see that like sometimes you do just have enough of it all it's hard, and I like how they show it, um, these programmes. I haven't watched a lot of them. I'm trying to get into Breaking Bad. I'm watching an awful thing about Jimmy Savile at the moment. But the reason I haven't done any, like, longer videos recently is, sorry, you can see I've got my sunglasses here. My migraines and headaches have been so bad that... Oh, I have to listen most of the time, but I just wanted to give you that uh analysis and see what you think like with the air and water sign do you think there's like an attraction there that's like can't be turned off do you have that are you the air sign are you the water sign and <clears throat> you know other things as well because uh, it's not always about element in astrology there's so much more um i'm gonna have to go because this is just hurting me too much thank you